Howdy folks, Mark McDonald with Home CSP here. It's a beautiful sunny but still a cold and windy day. Anyway, I'm here with an update on a new version of the Dark Star. Alrighty folks, so here we've got the old uh, Dark Star 2.0. <laughs> old, now the old. And here's the new updated version. Let's just review some of the changes. This board isn't obviously isn't fully populated but uh, I've just put enough of the major components on here so you can get a, a gist of the layout. So first thing you'll notice is we've just got uh, the pulse input and motor output for motor 1 and motor 2 here but we've got two more sets of terminals here on the new version and this is for a soft limit switch um, that can be used with each axis um, so the uh, just like with the 3D printer where the uh, when it reaches the end stop hits the end stop it will directly tell the microprocessor to stop the motor rather than uh, a limit switch which is part of the interrupts the the power going to the motor and then causes a stall condition which makes the controller uh, stop so that's the way it traditionally works with like a linear actuator so this is a little bit uh, smarter and um, a little bit easier to uh, adapt this maybe if, if you don't have uh, built-in limit switches like with the slew drive or something so Besides that, we can see the uh, the uh, uh, the Bluetooth has been moved from here over to the side. Um, just a minor minor little change there, but it opened up the room to get this uh, these extra terminals here. Um, we've got rid of the analog uh, adjustment for the wind speed. Um, that's now just done through the uh, through the Android app um, for adjusting the uh, the wind speed setting. So we no longer have this separate um, analog anemometer uh, adjustment. The, the reset button has been moved from here near the Bluetooth module um, up here where this this potentiometer was uh, right next to the ISP uh, header. The uh, power input is still in the same location as is the anemometer input. The sensor uh, input uh, appears the same but there's been changes made to the wiring and we're using a different type of sensor instead of just the LED sensors we're using a traditional cadmium sulfide sensor now so it's got a 5 volt signal that's sent to the sensors and that helps make a, a much stronger and reliable signal uh, make wire length is, is really not an issue anymore and uh, it should just make for more reliable and uh, accurate tracking with the uh, cadmium sulfide sensor yeah, so that will make these so this port is not compatible with the uh, the sensors for the, the original dark blue so that's a change to be aware of if you have one of the older models all right now let's take a look at the uh, differences between the old sensor and the uh, the new sensors. So our old sensors use the uh, LEDs, and we've got two on each axis. Not really so that we can uh, aim them slightly different and have a wide, wider field of view, but just because we really need two to get a, uh, a strong enough signal to get a a reliable uh, analog to digital conversion and not have too much noise. So. You can see here the uh, terminals are just labeled. We've got ground, south, north, ground, west, east. 
Now here's the uh, the new sensor, and it's just got the four, one for each direction. You can see, if you look carefully there, I think you can see the little squiggly of the cadmium sulfide trace there and there. So these have been used with uh, light detectors for for ages, and it's basically it acts as a resistor. It changes resistance depending on the light. So you'll notice here that we've got a five volt signal uh, to it along with the north south ground west and east there so um, this is a uh, wired a little different not compatible with the uh, previous one but this has a, a stronger signal uh, less prone to noise wiring issues and uh, should provide more accurate tracking of course uh, yeah, neither of these have the uh, light vanes mounted on them, just so you can uh, see the sensors that I was trying to show you a little easier. There will be an update to the Android app for the Dark Star, and that will uh, have features to support the limit switches, as well as uh, an improved uh, park position setting. Be sure to visit the Home CSP website for more information and place your order for the new Dark Star.